Hey, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Yeah, it's going pretty good. You just stopped in. I'm just working again. I just, I got some nice patches I can show you today. Those are good. You got a few minutes? Okay, here, I'll show you what I got. These two are really neat. These are two theater-made airborne patches. This is the 82nd Airborne. Um, it's all one piece that he ended up making. It's all together, the tab. The AA is the 82nd, but it was the All-American Division, and that's, that's from World War I. How they did that is they took somebody from every division in World War I and put them in this, and that's why it's the AA, it's the All-American, but it's the 82nd Division, and then in, in World War II, uh, this was glued in a book, but in World War II, they made it an airborne unit, and this one is airborne. It's the 8th Troop Carrier. You got the parachute, you got the plane, but what's nice about this, this is a piece of leather that this guy cut, this is his name, R. Asher, and he made this in 1943 in England. So these are both theater-made patches. What was that? Theater-made patch? That's something that the guys made in the theater where they were during the war, not made over here in the States. It wasn't like uh, commercially manufactured. It was made in the theater by one of the soldiers. And that's what makes these for collectors uh, even rarer. But this guy did a great job on the paint job. So that's that's what these two are. I'll put these back in. You still got a minute? You got a couple? Okay. I'll show you a couple more. These are airborne. Uh, this would go on a flat cap. The one that's facing in to the right, from the right, this would be for an officer. And he would wear that on the right side of his, this side of the flight cap. The one that's pointing in that would go on the left side, this would be for an enlisted man. And this is showing that they're a paratrooper, they're in the airborne. Uh, here's how the backs look. This one's World War II vintage. This is post-war with a little tail on it. Doesn't make it any worse. They're still very nice patches. And on that flat, the little flat, like you'd call an overseas cap, or that's what these would go in. You got time for one more? Okay, real quick. This one, this is first Special Forces patch. This is USA and Canada, where they work together. This nice World War II vintage patch. This on the uniform, I'll show you, would be worn up here on the left shoulder. And they even made a movie about this. And one of the stars in it was Vince Edwards, who, if, I don't know if you remember, if you're old enough, but he played uh, in one of the Doctor movies. He wasn't Doctor Kill there, he was a different Doctor, I can't, oh, he was Ben Casey. That's who he played. But that's what this one is. So this is a real nice one. The pit. You, one more thing? Okay, I can show you this. This is actually, this was donated. Gary Diamond is one of our post members. He's a military veteran. Uh, and this is a World War II fighting knife in the leather scabbard. This one's marked right here, U.S. Camelus on the blade. Uh, the leather scabbard, this one would open up. So you would stick your belt through it. You wear it over here on the side. You could wear it on either side. Most guys would wear it this way for a cross draw. Uh, and what the scare, the handle, actually, these are all, this is all made out of leather, out of leather rings. They just slid down on it. And then they put the metal cap on to, to hold it down. And that's, a World War II fighting knife. You got to get going? All right. Oh, 
Now, Wojo's not here right there, but he's coming to, to help me film some more videos. So I'll tell him you said hello. All right, you have a nice day. Oh, you want to make a donation? You know where the donation box is over by the door. Thank you very much. Have a good one. I'm going back to work.